Instead of using these cheap flimsy brackets that came with the rear seat kit for my golf cart, I decided to make my own. Seems like a good idea. I'm Jeff. Welcome to Cart Crazy. So this is uh, the bracket that comes with the rear seat assembly um, and I'll sneak in here and just kind of show you. That's what I've got started on. Obviously I've got a lot of work to do on that. That's just kind of my starting point. But this was in there and let me set this down so I can kind of point and talk at the same time. This for the seats that I have should actually be almost flat and not curved and this is basically in the way. So what I could have done is probably worked off of what I have here, cut this off, straighten this out, but it's still just real tinny and lightweight. Plus, the back seat, the holes didn't line up at all, and I had to put this big plastic bracket that they supply in. I just didn't like it. It was flimsy. You lean back. It felt like you were going to fall right off the back of the golf cart. Um, so I started working on this off camera. I wasn't even going to show you this because I'm not super proud of my uh, fabrication skills, but this is kind of my starting point. And I did the angles. Um, I put like a 15 degree angle in one and a 10 degree angle in the back just to kind of, um, you know, match what they had going. But I realized in the process of all that, being how short I am, uh, even though I went off the same length that they had, never really paid attention, but the seat is just too far back which is probably a good thing because that's going to give me the opportunity to uh, not only um, step this out a little bit but maybe reinforce the bracket a little more and then I'll probably do something different uh, with the rear seat as well because it is maybe just a shave too low um, I've got the back seat flipped down now but uh, when the back seat is flipped up it's it's real real close here and I could maybe bring that up just a little bit so we'll work on that today and hopefully at the end of the day We'll have something that nice and sturdy and looks decent on the cart. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen, this is my personal cart. Uh, it's a 2017 Club Car Precedent. I added the Mods Tower Top, um, which basically has no bearing on the bracketry because the bracketry is the same as the Mods uh, Seat Kit. It's just with the Tower Top you use this piping instead of the traditional uh, square tubing that comes with it. So. If you have a rear seat kit, most rear seat kits, not all, but most rear seat kits use this same flimsy bracket that just doesn't line up real good. So, so that's what we're going to play around with today and uh, have some fun. Alright, I've got my leg pieces cut. Um, obviously I'm going to drill holes in here. Um, once I've got this all welded on, I'm just kind of mocking it up. The other thing I'd like to do, I've got just square tube kind of butted up against each other. Um, make this look a little nicer. I think I'm going to try to trim these corners off a little bit. And then I'll cap them, grind everything down, make it look pretty, and then we'll paint it, of course. Do the same thing on this side, cut this corner off. Maybe not quite that drastic. Um, maybe even just a little bit through here. And uh, I've got some flat stock here, then I'll cap the ends. Just because I'm fussy and I like things to look a little nicer. Same thing on these. I'll cap these ends and uh, grind that off. Still not sure my height for the back seat, but I wanted to get this started and uh, kind of mocked up and see where we're at. Make sure everything looks like it's going to work okay. So we'll start with some welding. So I've got my supports welded in. I've got to cut a bunch of flax, flat stock up. I did get these corners nipped off a little bit. This one I couldn't get, quite get close enough with my upright in the way, so I'm going to have to take the grinder and work that one a little bit more. But I'll put my flat stock on the end, weld those in, kind of grind everything up. Should look a lot better. Alright, so I've got the flat stock just kind of tacked in here. 
this looks, I'm not going to lie, it looks terrible right now, but you just got to trust me here. I'm going to fill in all these gaps, and I'll take my grinder, and we'll smooth everything over. It's going to look a whole lot different. Now, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't look any better. Well, you're right. It doesn't look a whole lot better, but we gotta go outside and get the grinder on it. It'll come around, you'll see. Alright, hopefully the vision is becoming a little more clear. I know sometimes I dream this stuff up in my head and it doesn't make sense until I actually show you but it's it's not perfect by any means is it good enough for a golf cart absolutely uh, I've got my lines marked there where I need my holes drilled to relocate the back seat scuff it down a little bit and spray it with some high fill primer that will hide some of those imperfections let that dry and then we'll hit it with a flat black industrial spray paint. Drilled my holes for uh, my seat bolts and uh, of course another rookie mistake. I knew I wasn't going to get these exactly where I needed them. The angle of the seat bolt holes is a little offset. They're not perfectly in line. So I just went ahead and, you know, when a couple sizes bigger on the hole, that'll give me some room to wiggle the bolts around with. Another thing I did wrong, of course, all my shavings, I don't know if you can hear that, are inside uh, because I already capped the ends off. So there's not really a way to get it all out of there unless I sit and shake it and it comes through the holes I drilled. But I don't think you'll hear that in the cart going down the, uh, going down the road. So let's see how close we are. Not too bad with a little bit of wiggling. I may have to go one size bigger yet, but it's going to be close. I can use my original um, bolt holes as well just to kind of help hold everything together. But uh, we'll scuff this down real quick. Like I said, shoot it with some paint. And uh, we should be ready to put it back on the car. Alright, I wanted to show you before I go and put everything on the cart, um, I got the uh, everything bolted up obviously. Um, <laughs> completely forgot that I wanted to go out um, one full length of the width of the square tubing to give myself a little more um, seat adjustment I guess if you will because I'm a little bit shorter. Completely forgot, but that's okay, this is actually the standard size or the standard um, way it would normally be, so no harm, no foul there. Um, I got a little over anxious with the painting and um, didn't quite wait till it was dry, but no big deal because uh, the seat's going to go up against that and you're never going to see it anyway. So I'll finish buttoning this up, get it on there, and then I'll give you one last look of what it looks like all, all in, all done. Well, hopefully you can get a good look at it in here. Um, it's hard to get the camera in, but very, very sturdy compared to what was in there. All obviously uh, one inch square tubing. Got a little excited with the paint and probably messed up a couple spots. Didn't wait enough for it to dry. Plus it fell off uh, with the primer still wet in the grass. Not once, but twice because I didn't have it clamped on good enough. So uh, lesson learned there, but in between the seats, you're not going to see it. Is it perfect? No. Is it good enough for a golf cart? Yep. And that's all we're doing. So, like I said, I was going to bring that out a little bit farther just to give me a little more forward here, but if I do sell this cart, then somebody's going to say, man, this seat's really far forward, and uh, I would have to do a whole lot more. Where here, I could just add a little bit more if I wanted to. Uh, for length. The back I've still got in the same position. I didn't move that up or down, but it seems fine. Like I said, I still got the tailgate down, but yeah, that's uh, definitely an improvement. I can 
lean on this and push on this and instead of it flexing it literally moves the whole cart now so if you've got one of those seat kits and you're not happy with it just maybe an idea for you to do some upgrading on it and uh, it'll definitely support a lot more weight that way there's maybe a little better view so that's going to do it for this episode everyone thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button we'll see you next time